D2DNY real world HVAC simplified and now in this video I've got some HVAC troubleshooting tip for you guys okay I got I have a HVAC troubleshooting tip for you guys and it's on a commercial Aeon unit 35 tons doesn't matter if it's 35 tons but you know it could be 10 tons 20 tons same difference Aeon unit this is a commercial unit as you could see now you're looking at this if you're looking at this unit if you're working on this then you're rolling with the big boys or the big dogs commercial baby ain't no residential this is a big boys compressors right here compressors right there um service disconnect condenser so is water cool and there's a filters in the back right here real quick boom so the problem here as you can see that is not an alarm it says alarm bb but on these Yaskawa V1000, when you see that, it simply means, this is a tip, here's a tip, guys, this is a tip. It simply means that the minimum input for this drive to run, or this VFD drive to run, has not been satisfied. Okay? So that's what it means. There's a tag. It means that. So once you satisfy the minimum input, that will go away, and this thing will light up, come to life, and it will run. But we have something going on here because in this Aeon unit, the contacts and the phase, the power phase monitor, which is right here, is another tip, another tip. If you're doing commercial HVAC, it's an Aeon unit right here. They always, they always set up the same way. Power phase monitor is wired in, in connection with that input on the, on the drive to enable it. So um, you can see right now that this thing is dead. There's nothing going on, all right? So let's check our incoming power. It's three phase. You got to be careful. Pros only. No, no do to yourselfers. And of course, if you're a beginner, you should know how to use a meter and know, know your way around the AC unit. So this is live power. This will kill you. Okay. Don't play around. So let's go. Three phase we're checking for. Um, so we're going to go to the first leg, first pair. Just like there. We got juice 210. Let's go to the second pair. Nothing. Let's do the third pair. Top and bottom. We got juice, so we're missing the leg here. All right, now you can see here on the power phase monitor. Go on. Power phase monitor, up top here is where it's monitoring the three phase power, the three line. Um, line, line, uh, line one, two, and three. So right now we're missing one line, and I'm apparently the line that's missing is part of the line that's feeding power to here because I'm assuming that's why this is blank, all right? Because, uh, let's see, let's see what kind of juice we're getting across here. And then here, right here is the contacts, all right? This is the switch. So we got uh, normally open and common and normally close. This is one set of switch right here and this is another set of contacts. But this is the one that's been used because you can see there's two wires connected. One is a normally open and one is in common which means that this thing has to be active and then power this or close this contacts or shunt these two wires, basically these two red wires right here. i will be shunted, common, and normally open. This thing is good, it's gonna close this contact right here. And I guess it's gonna open over here and normally close. So these two is gonna be um, um, closed now and then we can complete the circuit and the drive can run. There's other things in the series with this drive too. I don't wanna get into that, but this is one of them. Actually, let's go across this and see if there's potential. Okay. Now, that was a futile attempt because, you know, even if I get try to get power across the contacts, see if they're open, it doesn't matter because the low voltage transformer, which is right here, the transformers, may be impacted by the missing phase. All right. So, I, uh, there's no point in checking that. So, let's go check our main power. And then to see what's going on. This is amazing. This kind of switch right here. Let's put the knife that down. Open that up. And I guess you gotta be very careful when you're doing this, pros only. Alright. So I'm gonna go to continuity, check my fuses, because there's fuses right here. Okay, so if I if I do it. Yeah. Okay, let's see the fuses. Let's see if it's the main or is the fuse. Oh, right away. That's dead. That fuse is open. 
that's good and that's good so there you go that's how you check your fuses now obviously if i go up top here this is where the main power comes in this is what's going to the unit down to the bottom and that's where the main power comes in it's kind of hard for me to check let me try so i can check for you guys and that's that so yeah we got we we, we, we lost a fuse here guys and that's the reason why um um we were seeing the bb on that drive our phase monitor is the, is a thing in the, in the circuit let me see if we find any scheme on it what time is it all right it's okay five minutes in the video let me just do that real quick because it's just a quick tip that i'm giving you a troubleshooting tip regarding the yaskawa uh, v1000 and aeon units right um typically the setup is the same if there's a vfd drive in the unit coupled with that uh phase monitor but also in addition you know we have power going from the low voltage transformer so you know maybe if there was power here um we'd have more stuff powered up but you will still get an error because this is going to be open all right all right so yeah all right so let's just do this real quick i'm gonna check some check some, check some power up top coming in you got to be really careful with this right here gotta be very careful all right so that's alive i got my meter in it boom so those two is good Those two is good, and I don't know if I can. I can't really span that far with my while holding the camera. So yeah, I don't know if I could check that for you guys, but I know that these two is gonna be good too. You know, let me see. Bravo. Okay, let's go over here now. Also, we have three phase power coming in. Our power is good. Close this thing up. We need a new fuse right here. LPJ 110 SP. Um, I hope there's nothing wrong with the unit. So I'm gonna do a quick um, ohm reading, ohm test, resistant test on my compressors. So these are the these are the higher loads. Make sure these are good. You know, because that's not why my fuse popped. Um, continuity. All right. Let me check my compressors, uh, compressor contactors, and there they are. So these wires right here, uh, these are the main power side over here. I go to the top, but these go to the compressor. So I go across these windings. So that's closed. That's good. Closed. That's good. All three windings. Okay, my three windings are good on my compressor. Okay, it's your other compressor. Okay, closed. Closed. Come on. Closed. And then, with all three windings closed, I don't. I don't have to check each winding to ground. I just check simply check one to ground. Okay, not grounded. So I go from. In case you guys could see, I just simply go from this one, from one and one, pick any one, and then turn the other wire to ground. Yeah, the lead to ground. So we're good. Okay, so let's see this other compressor here. And you know, it may just be, it may not be anything, but it's good to check that if you check your loads for short and open windings. You know, short to ground and open windings when, uh, whenever, uh, yeah, that's good too. So we got the VFD drive that's on the fan, main fan motor. So if that's a problem, we got fuses right here too. Um, even the compressors are fuses, so uh, these fuses are good. Let's just see. So the compressors would be the issue, anyways. Yeah. But it's good to check it's good to check that oh that's good so it looks like it's just a problem with the main fuse or you know something like that maybe a power surge because we got fuses in the vfd drive too these are good and the, the drive itself is a protection it's a protector because uh it will uh gently shut down the the load if there's a problem with the load before it gets back to the main so yeah i think we just need a pair of fuse one fuse and that's the diagnostics right there and you got some tips. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Fat thumbs up, right? Because you're working in commercial. I'm sure you've seen, or you're working in these drives, period. You have seen that BB. Remember, that's not a real fault. It's just it simply mean that the, the minimum input, I should open this thing up for you guys. The minimum input for the drive that enables it, tells it it's okay to run, has not been satisfied. And that's not a fault, really. 
it's confusing that you did that. But um, once you satisfy it or have your relay activates and enables the drive, that, that little warning or alarm goes away. I'm out of here.